All righty, Coach, we're ready to go with the 2009 season. Talk about how the training camp's gone. You know, camp went really well, you know, but I tell you, every time you do a camp, you, you always find something that you, you know, you're late to implement or some of those special teams you haven't gone over. And uh, it was good to have the scrimmage at Muhlenberg last week where we could really get a feel uh, on where we were and what we needed to do. So, you know, like we were to come back from that scrimmage and um, refine some things, you know, and, and uh, take some time and, and make sure that we're prepared for this weekend. Before we go too far into this season, we look back at the last four, are definitely the four best years in Wesley College football, a great class with Larry Beavers trying to make it in the NFL and Brian Robinson now in the CFL. Talk about what, what those men have meant to this program. Well, they're two great football players. And, uh, uh, you know, we wish them both the best. You know, when they were here, you know, they were guys that could change the momentum of a game, you know, on a single play. And... Uh, Fortunately for them, they have an opportunity to try and continue to do that on a professional level. And uh, we just have nothing but great memories and uh, respect. You know, they're part of our football family, and, you know, we keep in contact with them, you know, on a daily basis. I spoke to Brian two days ago and spoke to Larry last night, and they're, they're both working hard. Well, Larry certainly did a lot on the wide receiver side, but now he is gone. Talk about who we're going to see in the wide receiver position this year. Well, I mean, we're fortunate. We have some we have some outstanding players. You know, C.J. Baycoat, you know, had, had a very good season for us last year. You know, Ellis Kraut, you know, who was a, a transfer, um, is a real acrobatic, athletic receiver. He got super hands and and uh, to go along with the six foot four uh, player, and uh, he's fit in real well with our guys. Uh, DeAndre Folks, you know, is a great is a great speed player. You know, and I think the person that you know. We're going to rely on the most is probably going to be Gene Knight. You know, Gene is a you know running back slash receiver, and in the role that he's going to play, you know, he's going to be counted on to make a lot of catches and have a lot of touches. And the man that's going to get them the ball is Shane McSweeney, his second year, except for the first half of the first game, the starter of this football team. Talk about the steps he's made from last year into this year. Well, I think the obvious things that he has done is you know he's committed himself to. Um, making himself a, a better football player through hard work. Uh, he, he stayed and he worked out, stayed in Dover, got a job, worked out here. Um, you know, he was a guy who kind of took the bull by the horns with receivers and throwing the ball. I mean, we can't be a part of that. But, uh, you know, he organized that. And uh, anytime you have a quarterback do those things, you're going to find they're going to get better and better. Uh, he had a great season last year, and we really believe that, you know, he's going to build, you know, on the accomplishments he had last year and add on to this year. On running back side, Aaron Jackson's back, but Mike Pennywell isn't. Talk a little bit about, first of all, Pennywell not coming back, and second of all, talk about who Aaron Jackson and some of the other running backs. Well, you know, Mike uh, isn't playing this year, and that's Mike's choice. There's no discipline with us. Uh, there's no academic problems. It's just his choice not to play, and I we respect that. That's fine. Um, guys always step up. Uh, you know, I mean, we got Aaron Jackson, you know, who is, you know, rushed from his 2,500 yards in his career. Uh, we have a lot of confidence, obviously, in, in his ability. Um, you know, we also, you know, we're looking at a, a B. Badmus, you know, Barry Gerard, uh, Garrett Burgess, Brandon Wright, um, Denzel Bridges, you know, two freshmen that have played exceptionally well throughout camp. So I don't think we're going to be hurting for people that can carry the football. Defensive side of the ball, you lose certainly some stud players, including Sean Matthews and Chet Turner. Talk about the replacing those players. Well, I tell you, you know, uh, you know, Sean, you know, one of the best players we've ever had here. I don't think you can replace him. Uh, you know, I look at a guy like Zach Johnson, who has been the you know the number two Mike linebacker for the last three years, and this is his opportunity to step into that role. And uh, he's had a great camp, you know, and he's been pushed real hard by Dean Hamill. And uh, we think that those guys are going to help us win football games. You know, Mike Asadu at, uh, at strong side linebacker and Chuck Cohen at, weeks at well linebacker are doing a super job. You know, as far as replacing Chet, um, you know, Chet had a great career for us. And, you know, we're fortunate to keep us Howard, who was a safety slash corner last year, you know, has kind of stepped into those shoes. And, you know, I'm not going to say miss a beat. You know, Chet had a great career. But I expect the same type of play out of the Kivas that Chet provided. It's sort of a new-look defensive line. A lot of the same names are back, but it seems like 
they're missing some parts. Namely, a player like Mike Ward looks like he's down about 40 pounds from last year. Yeah, I, I should be following those guys around. You know, Mike Ward and Carlos James both have cut a lot of weight, which has made them uh, just have outstanding camps. And, uh, you know, when the NFL scouts came in the spring, you know, to take a look at Matt Ferguson and Mike Ward, um, you know, they were impressed with the guys. And they said to me, hey, that the big guy runs pretty well there, but, you know, He's probably carrying too much weight. So, you know, we told Mike what they said, and, you know, next thing you know, he's, you know, down 30 pounds and, you know, moving a lot quicker. Well, let's move on. Let's talk about the captains here, a team that was in the national tournament, much like yourselves, last year. What do they bring to the table? What concerns you as a coach? Well, they have the leading rusher in the country. <laughs> That's always a point of concern. You know, Tinda Ogan is, uh, you know, a six foot, 230 pound tailback, you know, who's got. Great instinct and vision, great speed and, and great strength. You know, there's no downfall to his game. You know, for us to be successful on Saturday, you know, we got to get 11 hats to that guy. Um, when he's not carrying the ball, their quarterback Matt Long is a guy who can run and throw the ball. You know, he ran for almost as many uh, times as he threw the ball last season. So there's some challenges there that we have to be prepared for. And what do they bring to you on the defensive side? Well, they're a four-man front, although we saw one thing that said they're a 3-4, so we're not sure if they've made any changes there. Uh, they return a lot of stars on defense. You know, uh, Adrian Diggs, you know, is the USA South Conference Player of the Year. Uh, he's not a big man in stature, but you look at his stats, and he's just a ball hawk. He's always around the football and making pressure on the quarterback, you know, underneath coverage. You know, he's an outstanding player. And they're like that. They're just, you know, they run exceptionally well, and they get to the football. And finally, Coach, when I say the words opening day, what does that mean to you? Well, I, I tell you, you know, i got to be honest with you, you we, I, we don't even think about it. I mean, it, it's our first game, you know, and there's a lot of other things that go on outside of football that you got to take care of, and we do that. But our focus is on getting win number one, and, and that's, that's the only place it can be on. You know, whether it's opening day, or the last game of the season, you know, your focus has to be on your job that day, that play, that quarter, that half to win. Best of luck this afternoon, Coach. Thank you.